head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. You don't know the difference between head, shoulders, knees, and toes? Because you know that did not hit her, her head, E.T. Why would you tell that fib like that, sister? Look, let's be clear, I ain't never took a loss Every time I go shopping, I ain't gotta check the cost Still independent, still my own boss Still got bad bitches coming up they draws Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito Luchi flame my hot like a motherfucking Cheeto This is not an act, I am not Don Cheeto Slut a nigga out, treat him like a free code Yeah, you heard right, I'm a whole ass gangsta Made him eat my butt, I ain't even say thank you What's up, Luchi gang? It's your girl, Luchi V And welcome back to my channel I'm back with another video and as you could tell from the title i'm going to be recapping the latest episode of baddies east so if you would like to know my opinion on this last episode then stay tuned to this video right here but first make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell ding 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 and let's get it <laughs> okay so before i hop into my opinion and feelings of this episode let's just do a disclaimer i put this at the end of the video usually but let me put it at the beginning if you do not agree with my opinions on this that is completely fine we are all different people we all have different views and mindsets and that is a thousand percent okay but you do not have to come in my comments and try to debate me on my opinions because i don't care bookie but no tea no shade but i just don't care i said what i said okay but there's no opinions there's no right or wrong it's okay for you to feel how you feel and it's okay for me to feel how i feel and that's just that on that okay bookie but now let's go ahead and get into it so this latest episode picked up of course where the last episode left off and they were in the club in jamaica and suki was kind of feeling the type of way like oh um i guess some of the girls in the house were telling her that mariah had an issue with her and wanted to take off on her um i, I really want to know where that came from because even though mariah was doing like some little sneak diss and stuff like pulling up suki only fans and all that stuff in the car she never gave that kind of energy like she was trying to tussle with suki so i was really confused on that and like who was saying that like step to the front whoever started that rumor because like or did you, is that something that happened off camera that we didn't see like but it never really gave that Mariah was trying to tussle with Suki. But okay, somebody told Suki that. And you know, so Suki was feeling this type of way um, in the club. And a nice moment did happen though. Suki and Roly ended up having a conversation in the club. And I guess like squashing a little issue. And both apologizing for saying and doing, you know, some things. Um Suki still was not talking to Miss Sapphire because she was just feeling like you, you my friend in real life, sister, and you did not stand on business. And I mean, I feel like she ain't wrong. You know, Sapphire definitely should have stood on business, but I do kind of feel like if you could go have a conversation with Roly and be back talking to her, I feel like you definitely should be able to have a conversation and be back talking to me and I'm your friend in real life, sister. But you know, everybody handles things differently you know what i'm saying so i'm pretty sure suki feelings was really really hurt like oh this is my real friend so i could totally understand where she coming from when not really wanting to talk to sapphire um so a, a very cute moment in there house b with the vibes as usual house b did a TikTok in the club like they was having some fun y'all know i'm looking at my notes so they was having some fun and yeah so that was the end of the club night it's like once again once again i keep mentioning this in every recap but it's like i keep seeing the same house b be lit and having fun and house a be seeming like upset about something at all times so the next day after the club house b was having a discussion about you know smiley leaving and you know just like the drama and all that stuff that's been happening and it was like they touched on it super quick and then went straight to laughing and giggling having fun you know now house a also had a discussion the next day and their discussion turned into drama chaos like it seems really stressful <laughs> to be in house a i'm not gonna lie to y'all like it seems really stressful to be up in that house so um yes house a was having a discussion about everything you know about suki and roly squashing their stuff about suki and sapphire still not really talking and 
what kind of threw me off was et was like oh she feels the type of way that suki didn't like approach her to squash the stuff and it's like girl you threw water in my face and then hit me with the water bottle in my face why would i approach you and say anything sister like like see i feel like it's different with the suki and roly thing because it's like I feel like Suki could approach Roly because, I mean, Suki put her hands on Roly first. Like, she was pushing Roly first before they start the test. E.T., you just came out of nowhere and threw the water and bopped the water bottle in her face. Girl, why would I come up to you and try to squash something with you? What well, make it make sense. Like, if we're going to be for real, if we're going to be anything, sister. Like, she threw me off when she was saying that. Like, yeah, I feel like she could. Like, girl. I'm sorry, y'all. It's like the more and more episodes that come out. Because honestly, like, I see all the stuff about E.T. online, y'all calling her EBT and all that, like, and I really kind of, like, don't get into that. But it's like, the more episodes come out, I'm seeing, like, why the majority of the viewers don't really care for her. Because it's just like, girl, like, oh, my goodness. Okay, so then during this discussion or meeting, whatever you want to call it, with House A, they decide to press Mariah about her supposedly having some kind of issue with Suki. Um, and, um, you know, Mariah is basically like, what y'all talking about? I said I wanted to have a discussion with her because, you know, it was kind of like weird how it, it, it went from like Suki and Sapphire helping Mariah get her chain back to all of a sudden it was just like they really wasn't rocking with Mariah. So I can understand why Mariah would feel like, okay, I want to have a conversation because it's like, where did the switch off happen you know what i'm saying but also like i said she was not really given like it was something serious to where she wanted to tussle so i don't know i, I could be reading it wrong and y'all could be seeing something different but to me i didn't get that vibe from mariah that she was trying to tussle like you know um so sapphire was kind of trying to punk her a little bit you know, it did seem like Sapphire was kind of trying to punk her. And Mariah was like, you know, I'm going to keep talking and say what I want to say. Like, so what you mean? And it was just like, Sapphire, like, how are you trying to punk Mariah for a rumor that supposedly she said? But E.T., you know for sure E.T. bopped her in the face with the water bottle up. You know that for sure. And you're not pressing her about nothing. But you're going to press Mariah about a rumor. Uh, he said, she said, we don't even know what happened for real but you pressing her you pressing her like a panini over over a rumor I, I just don't like that like but i did like you know even though y'all know i've made a lot of jokes about mariah lynn in my previous recaps but what i will say is she's not scary and she's standing on business so yeah so um they ended up you know oh i also did peep this too did y'all peep how mariah lynn confirmed that natalie was also talking about suki and natalie didn't say nothing though she was like i mean yeah i i'm glad mariah called it out like all oh, y'all been talking about suki low-key so don't try to just be like um i said something don't do that if we're gonna let because i'm the, i'm the same way we're gonna lay it out on the table we laying the whole platter out baby yeah everybody everybody stuff getting laid out i'm like uh from why did I get married, dude, when he's got to tell her all the business? Yeah, baby, that's how we coming. Like on Power Book Ghost, when uh, the, the sister got to tell her all the tea? Yeah, that's how I'm coming. Because don't play with me. Do not play with me. Um. So anyways, they end up being out of the crib. They was about to go get on the sprinter. And the arguing kind of continued. And Roly was getting really upset with Mariah. And like she was charging at Mariah like she was trying to tussle with Mariah. And I'm just like, Roly, sister, no. Mariah is this big. Like, please do not try to tussle with her, sister. <laughs> like, no. But Mariah wasn't acting scary, though. It was just like, I felt like Mariah just was more so like, what are we even doing this for? Like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? She didn't give like she was scared. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know I love me some iced coffee and I had just go one down right before that. I don't know why I gave me a little hiccup. But yeah, Mariah wasn't given that she was scared. It was more so given like she was confused on like, why are we even need to take it to the tussling, bro? Like, it's not that serious. So Roly ended up throwing something and Mariah, it hit her in her back, like her mid back. Now, this making me believe what y'all be saying about old girl E.T. being a liar. Because we saw where that, I don't know what it was that Roly threw, like a, a, pe a balled up paper towel, a, a, a little golf ball. I don't know what it was that Roly threw. But we saw it clear as day, him or I get in her back. 
Here come E.T. in her confessional. My girl Roly got good aim and hit her right in her head like. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. You don't know the difference between head, shoulders, knees, and toes? Because you know that did not hit her in her head, E.T. Why would you tell that fib like that, sister? Now I'm starting to believe the fans that you be that you be that you're a Pinocchio. I'm starting to believe them now, sister. So now we know for sure your recap of the reunion is not really the truth. Yeah, we know that for sure now because you're a fibber. You're a fibber, sister. Okay, so another thing that I thought was really weird was Natalie is supposed to be Mariah's friend, like in real life, right? So I don't get why she was saying that she's the one who told Suki that Mariah pulled up the, you know, the little video trying to talk about Suki. It's like, whose friend are you, Natalie? Like, I don't think Natalie is anybody's friend. She's not Scotty's friend. She's not Mariah's friend. She's not Roly real friend. She's not anybody's fr friend, I don't think. Like, I think she just get in where she fit in, baby. You know what I'm saying? So, they decided they're going to go on the little raft things. You guys know, if you guys follow anyone that has been to Jamaica, everybody does like that little raft thing and get the little clay massage and all that. So that's what they were about to go do. Um, and as usual, the bus ride or the sprinter ride on the way there, House B, they was lit. They was having fun. They was getting turned up. They was having a time. And once again, House A, what they was doing? They was on there talking about drama, talking about mess. Like, <sighs> when are y'all going to have y'all some fun? Like, it just does not seem like, and it's so crazy to me that they like really try to like put their house on a pedestal. Like it's such a privilege to be in their, in their house. And it's just like, it really seems so much more stressful and like just irritating. No shade. Um. So they get there to the rafts. Bobby Lights is there. Oh my gosh. Bobby Lights. <laughs> Bobby Lights had on like a little thong speedo thing. And he was just, you could tell he was out of his mind. I don't know what he was off of, but it, he was, you know, he already admitted that he'd be doing the booger sugar. So I don't know if that's what he was off of, but he, he clearly was out of body out there. Okay. He was out of pocket. And y'all know they don't really like seeing all that kind of stuff in Jamaica. Like, but he was just, baby, move your body like a snake, ma. Like he was, he, he was out there like he was pee popping on a handstand. Okay, baby. Like he was in a Jay-Z big pimping video. Okay. He, he was cutting up. Um, so they kind of break off into pairs to go on the rafts or whatever. And, um. Scotty wanted to ride with Natalie talking about we need to have a conversation. Scotty act like she has that. What's that? Is it called Stockholm syndrome? When, when like you're like obsessed with your abuser or whatever. Like it, it Scotty be acting like she has that. Like girl, she just turned you into a unicorn yesterday. You just had, you just had a whole like, it was out there sister. Like you just was a unicorn. And now you're telling us, so we, I need to have a conversation where like, girl, like, I, I don't know. I feel like they might got some kind of tea on each other or something that neither one of them wants to be spilled. And so they got to keep their friendship. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't understand. I've never had a friendship like that with anybody that I let them lump and bump me up like that. And then I'd be like, I want to have a conversation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ain't that much loyalty in the world. Ain't that much, I'm sorry. I, I I can't get into it, baby. Like that that's that's a bit much for me. I ain't gonna hold you, boo. <laughs> yeah. So Biggie was so lit on this episode. You could tell she was drunk out her mind. She must have some rum punch. And if you've never had rum punch, oh, what it do it to you, baby? Okay, be careful. You better be careful what you do to me. Oh, that made me think about that song. Y'all remember that song? <gasps> oh, that's R. Kelly. Y'all don't cancel me. Um, but. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm from Chicago. They still be playing R. Kelly out here. I don't be playing it. But, I mean, I still be hearing it sometimes. Don't know T, no shade. Uh, but, anyways, y'all. So, y'all, then DJ Scott popped up. Y'all, I forgot all about DJ Scott. I ain't even trying to be funny. I have for when they was like, yeah, DJ Scott. I'm like, damn, I forgot about Shorty. Like, I don't even. DJ Scott, girl. I didn't even know she was there in Jamaica. Now, when I had, right before I started filming this, I kind of rewatched a little bit of the episode again. And I noticed that they were saying DJ Scott was the DJ in the club. I'm like, dang, like, 
I really forgot all about sister. No tea, no shade. So they was on the rafts. It seemed like everybody was having like a good little time on the rafts or whatever. And then now this is what kind of like threw me off y'all. Cause now I'm kind of feeling like they picking with Mariah. Mariah starts twerking and, um, you know, Suki was talking about some, it stank, it stank, it smelled like fish or something like that, you know, basically saying like that her, her kitty was stanking. And, you know, Mariah was like, you know, no, it don't. And Suki was like, it do. Yes, it does. Now, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Biggie had me crying on when she was like, when Suki was like, yes, it do. And Biggie was like, yes, it do. It's crazy, y'all. I fell out. Biggie was really funny on this episode. No shade. Um, and then Suki <laughs> was talking about that her stank, but it's still gonna get eight, 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 eight. I'm like, what is going on this episode? It's crazy, okay? Like, but I didn't understand what Mariah did. Like, because she started talking. Y'all saying this stank like, what was the issue? Like, I, I felt like they was picking with Mariah on this episode. I ain't even going to lie. Like, so then Sapphire is off the raft, like, trying to question her, like, about, <clears throat> I guess, like, about the rumors that she was saying that she had a problem with Suki or whatever. And, like, Mariah was not getting aggressive for real. She was just trying to explain, like, that's not true. That's not what I said. But Sapphire was trying so hard to press her. It's like, it really was given, like, she just wanted to feel like she was redeeming herself to Suki. Like, I think she just really wanted Suki to be like, yes, you're writing for me. Because, like, Mariah was not doing nothing, y'all. Mariah was not doing anything. And it's like... Sapphire was like screaming in the girl's face and then I guess she said like oh Mariah took her purse off I know what that means girl you're screaming in her face I don't know what you finna do to me I would have took my purse off too because it's like girl we on these steps like I don't know what's going on like I was so confused on this part I'm not gonna lie like I was really confused on this part I didn't understand like what they were so mad at Mariah for like she was just twerking and then it turned into everybody picking on her not even everybody just really Suki and Sapphire I just didn't understand it like now don't get me wrong like on this season my favorite on this season is Suki but I did honestly feel like Suki was picking with her at this point in time um but she was a little drunk so I don't know if it was because she was drunk and it was just like oh, okay you know but um yeah the girl Sapphire so I could tell Sapphire was about to be on something because the way she kept trying to push Suki Raph away I could tell she was trying to make room for her, like for her trying to throw Mariah in there but I'm so glad Mariah little self drug Sapphire right in the water with her yeah you go you go pull me in there yeah you, uh, you're coming with me sister yeah what's tea uh -huh. and it's just like girl you was you're so quick to want to toss Mariah little self in the water why you didn't toss E.T. in there E.T. only got one leg right now so you probably could have whooped her this time like that really irritated me. Um, so yeah, that was the end of the episode. They really kind of irritated me because they previewed that tussle on the last episode and made it seem like it was going to be on this episode, but then it's really going to be the next episode. It's like, they're just prolonging this season out for whatever reason. I don't know. Cause a lot of stuff could just be like chopped and screwed and left out, but whatever, get your coin, get your bag. Shout out to them as loose. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah the preview for next episode it looked like mariah is going to swing on suki she did do a live and say that she missed um and yeah you guys that was the end of this episode um <sighs> i was confused i was really confused towards the end and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my recap Comment down below. Share this, you guys. I really appreciate all the good feedback I've been getting on doing my reviews. And thank you guys for watching.